Welcome to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and you know what? Today we are going to do a product review. It's something I have never done on the channel before, so bear with me. Now, I received a call from Daniel Lee from the Jewel Ice Company, and he asked me, Dave, hey, if we send you one, would you tell us what you think? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? So I decided to also do a video about it. Now, this is a clear ice mold maker. And when I say maker, I mean you put the water in, and it's freezes directionally, meaning from the top down. So when you pull this out of the box, it actually comes apart in three different pieces. Now the first piece is the exterior that has a molded foam liner. The next is a chambered plastic liner that actually has a maximum fill line on it. And the third piece you have is your silicone mold. Now in this case, this is the stick mold and it has two shapes of stick, one that is sort of faceted, another that's square, and you also get two mini molds. And this is made from a food grade silicone. So it's strong, it's durable, and it's safe, and it's not going to fall apart on you. Now. When I talked about directional freezing, meaning top down, you have to actually use something like a water cooler. Now, and when I say a water cooler, I'm talking about a lunch cooler that has an insulated set of sides, just like this nice form-fitting piece of foam in here. And what you'll do is you will insert this and grab yourself, in this case, I'm going to use a pan because I'm at my bar, I'm gonna show you how to use this. But I don't feel like using this specific mold. I actually wanna use this one and this is a faceted Christmas ball style mold. So what we'll do is we'll put this right here. This is the one we're going to use. There's a couple of more molds that you might like. The standard round ball mold, which of course everybody's gotta love. And you have a 57 karat diamond mold. So let me show you exactly how to fill this up so you get the best ice possible. Grab yourself some water because what you're going to do is you're going to fill this directly to the max line, maybe a little bit more. And don't worry, just pour this entire 500 milliliter bottle in there because you're going to need more. In fact, you probably need about 800 mils. And if you have too much water, that's okay. Because what you're going to do after that is take your mold and you're going to sit it inside and it's going to splash over the top. And that is exactly what you want to see happen. And that happens because in the very bottom of the mold, there's a hole. And at the very top of the mold, there's a hole. This allows for the water to flow directly through and the air to escape. So what you're gonna do is throw this in your freezer for a good 24 hours. All right, it's been 24 hours. I've decided to pull out my uh, Jewel Ice Duo. And again, I'm just going to take this off to the side. What you're going to do is just allow this to warm up a little bit. And it's gonna take about five to seven minutes just because you wanna make sure that the base actually separates from the block of ice inside and from the inside frost. Now, what we'll do is you will actually just peel apart this silicone frame and you will be revealing two gorgeous ice balls. And these are a fantastic looking little Christmas ornament style. Now you will get some little ice nubs right up at the top here and a little bit of a seam edge, no problem. Just throw these into your bowl, put these back together and just give them a quick rinse before you use them again. And grab yourself a nice rocks glass because it's time to have a little bit of whiskey with it and see just what they look like. Now that's a generous pour because I wanted to show you exactly what you were getting. And you know what? If you don't want that little ice nub on top, you can just pair that off with a knife, no problem. But you get absolutely gorgeous color, a good coolness to the drink. And you can't go wrong with that. So what can I say about these? Really simple, really easy to use. And you know what? They come in multiple shapes, as I said earlier. And you know what, I'll just use some water for this one. And you can take a look at this. Look at that. Now, it's really, really hard to get perfectly clear ice where I live because I have exceptionally hard water. It's like absolutely fantastic. But when you get it right like this, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, do I like it? Yeah, would I use it? Sure, absolutely. Uh, you know what? definitely worth trying out if you like clear ice in multiple different shapes.